All right, we're just good. Here we are. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, so let's wait. Come on. What is good? Here we are back. Everything seems to be working. Checking out the local Harmon AI GitHub that I have updated a little bit. So yesterday there was issues with RAM usage and I was blowing out the RAM. All 31, I have 32 gigs, but some are reserved, I guess. So all 31 available gigabytes are getting blown out. And that was causing the data loader worker to exit unexpectedly. Uh, there's a timeout in the code here, uh, and after a certain amount of time, nothing happening, or the RAM being completely capped out, the code will stop running. I was thinking it was a VRAM issue, but it was actually a regular RAM issue. So to reduce the amount of RAM, I installed Lubuntu as the desktop manager on top of my Ubuntu 22.04.1 and that seemed to reduce, that seemed to give me about an extra gigabyte of memory. When this is running I get up to about at most, uh, it's in the Good, but I got up to at most 29 gigabytes, so I'd be right at the edge. And at 29 gigabytes, I could open up Firefox and do some slight work on the computer, on the browser. The browser being one of the larger uh, sinks of RAM, excluding something like OBS or a video or a movie player. So some tools that are pretty helpful to monitor your system are going to be some commands really uh, are going to be checking the man page for nvidia smi this has a lot of good resources here it's got a good list of commands that will show a bunch of different outputs including this here which shows the gpu stats for a specific GPU. Showing the SM, which is basically the CUDA core percentage, the memory, which is actually kind of complicated. It's the percent of time over the past sample period during which global device memory was being read or written. So that's not really that intuitive to what that is, but we have the FB, the frame buffer, and the bar one. The bar one is the amount of memory it takes to properly set up and run the frame buffer to work with the CPU, and the frame buffer is the actual the actual processes that need to be run. This is the GeForce uh, 1060, I believe, um, or 1960. Uh, <clears throat> this is the 960, which I have now running all graphics as a dedicated graphics card. I did turn off integ integrated graphics. That was necessary to keep the RAM down. Integrated graphics does eat into the RAM a little, a little bit more than using the dedicated graphics card. So, with that RAM being handled, I was able to run this for about 12,000 uh, minus, I think we started around 500, so in the order of magnitude of 600 to 1,000 epochs, I'm not exactly sure where we started, but a good amount of epochs all night for at least five hours. I was able to get some samples and on the fine tuning side, I actually had the batch size down to one. I was able to keep the sample size here. And remember, it has to be a multiple of 8,000s, 100s, 90, 10s, and two. I had the batch size at one, but I'm fairly confident I can bring it up to two now with no issues. The accumulated batches was the same. I had a number of workers at three. But again, I think now, while monitoring RAM usage, these were not issues. Uh, 
the issue was multiple windows being open and also when this runs we will see if we can just get it to run here and the init audio i also have formatted the sample size of the input to match the maestro sample rate the maestro sample rate is actually 16,000 which is ridiculous uh, and I decided to stick with the maestro because I wanted to keep some of the piano riffs and the, the idea of piano and rap go together pretty well so I kept that I this is without resampling the audio down sampling the audio to be at 16 kilohertz and we have these results starting here progressing to further down to here actually I apologize these are different runs the main runs okay so we started here progress to here further on to here to here and this is where we end so since the sample rates aren't matched a lot of the initial training is wasted on getting the samples to getting the pitches and samples and all that audio nonsense to be in line with each other. So in theory, by resampling to an appropriate sample, to the appropriate sample rate, should shorten the training. So that was another thing that I did. I'm also using HTOP here. This is a good overview of the memory and CPU core usage. It's also showing all the processes. I have NVIDIA SMI regular, which is just showing the overview of all of my GPUs. And that is basically it on a monitoring so on the monitoring side it's also important to make sure you're not running unnecessary things firefox seems to be okay it doesn't take too much memory obs is out of the question um, playing videos is generally out of the question um, but even with obs open right now i'm at 3.41 gigabytes of RAM being used on regular Ubuntu, I'd be up at like seven. I'm not even sure. Apparently Ubuntu is only 1.5 ish, a little less, but I would be way, my idle was way higher. Uh, I'm at five now. I think normally I'd be at eight uh, or maybe six, maybe six or eight. I'm not sure. So let's just, just to show what I was talking about, we're going to quickly go to the fine tune and we want to output to 16 kilohertz. And let's just see if we can get this to run. Okay, so let's try and run this with some programs open. 
we're at 4.5 gigabytes of RAM usage now. That's looking a little risky, but I think we should be fine. Uh, again, everything is basically the same. We're going to up the batch size to 2 now. The accumulated batch is going to go to 4, and the sample size is going to stay at the default. We're demoing every 250 steps, and we're getting a checkpoint every 500 steps. The biggest use of memory I'm noticing is the W, A, and B, but it is a pretty nice, I do like it, and it does give a good amount of data, so it is possibly worth uh, eating up the memory. So let's try and run it and see what happens. And let's go ahead and control F5. Let's see what we got up here. Now this, this view is pretty confusing every 250 steps we're gonna get a output the epoch is i'm calculating an epoch of eight steps this is saying 13. uh it's not clear how the epochs how big actually the sample or the data set is so the batch size is two and steps and one step is passing the batch through the model. So there are a certain amount of steps per epoch, and one epoch is passing all of the batches through the model once. So we're going to run 250 steps, and that is going to be more than one epoch. It's going to be quite a few. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this again. Let's run this here. And control F5. Alright, so we'll get that running. And while it's running, we're going to want to pay attention to the HTOP portion of this screen here. And look for W, A, and B. And those, it'll be a couple processes. And those will take up quite a bit of memory and shoot this way over so one idea is to just remove all the logging of W, A, and B. All of this. Just remove those, and that should save a ton of memory. I'm hesitant to do that because I do like the outputs that it's giving. At first, I didn't really understand what was going on, but now I kind of see where they're going with this. It's basically an entire overview of the entire run, so I don't need to log this output to a file or anything. I'm going to get all that information in here. Uh, I do need to keep the HTOP open just so we can see when the memory goes bad. So we get up to about 73% of just this using the memory. So if we're at 9, 73% of um, 30 is going to be, you know, about 20 gigabytes. 20 gigabytes plus 9 is going to push us over, if this is accurate. And this is all I wanted to show for this. But I do like these outputs. I like how they're saved. So getting another stick of RAM is probably worth keeping this available. Or just using the Albuntu, not having too many things open, not running OB. I guess to wrap it up, when you're watching the HTOP, when you're looking at this, take note of when the memory spikes up and see what programs are open that may be causing that. I believe that the WA and B service, when that is when that process is running, uh, the memory usage shoots up pretty high. If another instance of the sample generator starts running, then the memory also shoots up pretty high. And, but it seems to correct itself and go back down to the same level, then shoot back up. To anyway, so that's that. Just uh, running this, checking the systems, making sure everything's going well. Uh, and it is training. I'm going to add more music, obviously, and continue working with changing the sample rate and other possible helpful training parameters. Alright, 